I actually know what episode I'm talking about this week. It's episode 9. I've seen a few people online now say that they think these last... The last few episodes have been dragged out a bit. But I have to, like, fucking disagree. I, me, I think this is going out like the perfect, the perfect fucking pace at the moment. Or it's like keeping up this this right amount of tension between everything, you know, where there's, like, so far in these last two episodes, it's been like, this, like, awesome amount of tension. I don't see how everything's not playing out in a way that seems legit or uh, would make sense. Of course, Hank would go to Skylar. He makes out it's like, you know, for her and the kid's safety and all this kind of crap. But it's pretty safe for us to assume now that, well, just, we know, we know, we, we know. He's basically just trying to gather as much evidence and stuff that he can on Walt as quickly as possible and just put him away. Hank is egotistical. He's kind of like Walt, but obviously he's not evil like Walt now. I think it's the fact that he's spent so much time trying to track this guy and he's been like right under his nose the entire time. Plus the fact that he does want the praise and recognition of bringing down like the number one guy. He wants that. He wants that attention satisfaction kind of thing of putting the fucking nail through his head. This may even be his downfall. Could be his downfall. He's the way he's going about it with the the kind of aggression. Maybe his aggression towards it is his downfall. We'll see though. But over at Skylar Town, we see Nego Skylar. I'm pretty sure if it was to go back and look at Emo Skylar, who was, you know, jumping in the pools and being all depressed and stuff like that. If we go back and look at that Skylar and had Hank come to her now, like if Hank came to the emo Skylar, pretty sure if Hank came to her then, she would have just fallen on him and probably just fucking blurged everything out right there and then. Here now, present time, I think she's kind of moved past it. I think we've got to a Skylar where she's like kind of enjoying it. I mean, she's got the car wash, which I think she legitimately enjoys running. So, and then there's the money. And then Hank saying that he was gonna stop. Maybe she just wants to, to, to to move on with this she doesn't want it she or maybe she's just feeling a bit too much guilt uh maybe she just maybe she's even just herself just like really fucking maybe she's just completely worried about herself in reality and doesn't want to be put away maybe she doesn't really give a fuck about anyone else including walt but she doesn't want to be attached and put away although then maybe if she'd thought all this she would have just blurred about the hank I do think she's just legitimately now attached to what Walt's given her. But, as seen at the end of this episode, everything seems to be hanging in the hands of one Jesse Pinkman. Well, everyone's fate actually seems to be hanging in Jesse's emotions and the way he'll probably react. I mean, at the moment, he does seem pretty fucking close to just blowing his brains out, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure in the next episode, when Hank walks into the interrogation room, something's going to do, go down. That'll change the tides, the way everything's going to swing. And it'll probably be something that Hank says. Uh, what it'll be could be something to do with Mike's death. You know, maybe he mentions something and Jesse can put two and two together and he just goes on the machine gun rampage like fucking... No, that's, that's too Hollywood. I can definitely see Jesse swinging into it over of a complete direction sometime soon, no, away from his fucking little emo self into full, like, fucking aggression mode where he just probably wants to kill everyone or, you know, probably doesn't even care. I mean, at the moment, he probably doesn't care about his life. No, he doesn't, he doesn't. We can kind of tell he doesn't really care about his life. So, he's probably just going to maybe go down the swing of glory if he can bring Walt with him. And, I mean, Hank's probably happy with that. He don't like Jesse. But we will see, won't we, friends, in the next episode. <laughs> so until next time, friends, I'm Dylan.